is Janaki Tokola. I am a second year neurology resident. My name is Daniel Charlotte. I am from San Diego, California, and I'm a third year neurology resident. Manjari Uppu, a PGY3 neurology resident at University of Illinois College of Medicine, Peoria. I'm Omer Hamid, one of the PGY3 neurology residents at UAC Peoria. As a neurology resident, we have an uh, incredible amount of responsibility. On a day-to-day -day basis, our program is quite busy. Very high, high volume of very complex patients because Peoria has a very big catchment area. We serve a, a huge area in central Illinois and we even some at times receive a transfer from Iowa and Missouri as well. Um, Typically, we as residents work both inpatient and outpatient. We usually get started around 6.30, 7 in the morning and are here until 4.30, 5 in the evenings. The morning half of the day is spent rounding on patients, um, meeting with the attendings to discuss our plans and doing things like family meetings. While we are inpatient, we either work on stroke or like the general neurology service and then if we are on our electives we choose mostly outpatient. Break around noon for a lectures and then we spend the afternoons um, following up on loose ends from the morning and seeing new consults. A lot of the things that we see there uh, include anywhere from stroke patients that have recently had a thrombectomy or thrombolysis to patients that are in status epilepticus. We also see a lot of neurological emergencies like myasthenia gravis, uh, Guillain-Barre syndrome, and many more things as well. UECOMP has a lot of strong points as a neurology residency comes, but one of the most important things that I found were the attendings and the people that work here. The biggest benefit of coming to our program specifically is that you will always be in a supportive environment. Uh, our program director, our administrative staff, everybody's extremely supportive. When you're a PGY1 and PGY2, you almost know nothing of neurology. And it's so wonderful by the time you're PGY3 and you're ending your third year, you know enough to help a patient neurologically. Another great thing about our neurocritical care unit is that we have a neurosurgery team here on site, so we work hand in hand with them. I really liked about UE Comp was the, the close, the really the tight-knit family-like atmosphere here. This is a friendly environment where learning is encouraged. It's not caustic at all, and I think that's one of the greatest advantages in our training program that helps us become great physicians. If you are someone who is interested in neurocritical care, this is a great program to come to. JUMP, uh, it is an incredible facility. Uh, there is a great amount of research that is being done um, all the time here and we invite speakers from uh, all across the country uh, from various disciplines within neurology to come and present uh, new and breakthrough topics within the field of neurology and neurosurgery. We do have uh, some simulation labs here and uh, these will include uh, brain death uh, simulation uh, which we um, take very, very seriously here. Here at OSF St. Francis, we have um, a dedicated uh, neurocritical care unit that allows us to treat patients with those specific problems. We are the only level four um, epilepsy center downstate uh, with a dedicated epilepsy monitoring unit called EMU. The task um, of the EMU is to distinguish between epileptic and non-epileptic spell and characterize whether it's focal versus generalized epilepsy. We are a comprehensive stroke center and so we can provide a, uh, a whole array of services uh, to our patients. It's tucked away in central Illinois, just right along the Illinois River. But Peoria has its own charms. It's a small town. There's a lot more nature activities to do here, hiking, going on walks. The people here in Peoria, they are very friendly. Places that you can go with your family, like museums, and uh, there, Peoria has a lot of parks. I like that coming from California, 
uh, it's definitely a nice change of pace to get away from the hustle bustle of the traffic. Another great thing about the area is the cost of living. It's not super expensive. There's a great riverfront scene uh, with some great restaurants and, uh, and bars. Peoria Heights uh, is a great place with also uh, great nightlife and, and restaurants and, and a great place to just have fun. I'm actually planning on staying here in the Peoria area because I'm so drawn to this hospital. I love it here um, and I've had such a great experience that I'd want to continue working here when I'm an attending. Thank you.